Ah, um, hey guys, <laughs> it's me Waddles, welcome back, um, but, uh, as you can, uh, see here, things aren't, um, going, uh, really the best, <laughs> um, uh, gotcha, ah, you absolute fool, <laughs> I did it to you, I pulled a prank, uh, what if I told you it was all a joke, I did it in a different world, I used the command to kill myself, and you just cried for no reason at all, mm -hmm. there's no way the series could end like that, not in a million years, welcome back to Hardcore Survival Minecraft Episode 3, in between episodes, I did go ahead and harvest up wood, my wheat did not grow, but it's okay, because we're gonna actually move the farm today, uh, so, I've seen in the comments lots of you guys uh, making fun of me, telling me I'm going to be homeless the whole series, but today everything changes. You aren't only wrong about me dying in the beginning, but you're also crazy wrong about me being homeless for this whole series. Ho ho, today it all changes gamers. We're tearing everything that we've done so far in this series down to the ground and putting a house here instead. It's going to be crazy. It's going to be cool. It'll be something that I've actually not really built on camera before too at least in a long time uh, we still don't really have a house in the guide world but <laughs> uh, this world is a little different this is a different story it's it's a whole different uh, challenge over in hardcore and I I think a lot of you guys have the idea that I can't build a house which is strange so I'm gonna prove you wrong <laughs> so um, I have a really cool build idea in mind I have like a rough vision as to what I want to do but I don't know like for sure what I want I know that I, I think the house front door should be looking this way and then the the side will be over here the other side over there the back over there all kind of straightforward um, and it's gonna be a tight fit we will definitely have to do some terraforming in here because I don't think it is going to fit very well in, on this small hill I love Mount Waddle though by the way I thought about moving and maybe like making the house somewhere else but then I realized that we have about the best view in the whole world and it would not be fair to abandon Mount Waddle so soon we ha we have to give it like a better chance to uh, a better chance to live you know so the build is actually, believe it or not, going to be a modern house. We're going to try and, and use these early game materials and make something super fancy and crazy looking. I hope I can do it. I think we could, um, but I guess we'll see. So I, I imagine a front porch over in here. So that means I need, oh, I have one oak. Okay, well, I wanted to do the front porch with oak wood. So we'll pretend we have a front porch in here that's really cool. Uh, for now, we'll, we'll do that. Then over here we have the build, and I think this part of the house will be cobblestone. Now, I think it should be tall, but also not, not too tall. And then I think we should have some kind of fancy modern type of thing going around the build over this way in front of what'll be kind of like a, a garage, but uh, never mind that we don't have cars, so this will probably just be like a storage area or something. Uh, so yeah, fancy modern thing going around the front, then over here, uh, we do like a door, and I think it should be tall, so maybe like, um, let's see, that would be, that's, that's four, maybe we go five high on this part of the build, and then we need some big windows too, and in fact, maybe like, like a wraparound window, so this will be the top of the build over here, and then we'll do like a corner wraparound to look out, um, oh, Oh, <laughs> uh, we have a village. Uh, how did I not see this before? Wow, uh, we need to go over there and check that out. Oh my gosh, but not now. We have to build the house first. The house is very important. If we are going to try and get pets in this series, they can't be laying out in the cold. That's disgusting. And in fact, if anybody did that, you would have to call, you, you'd have to report them. Hmm, so I'm looking at this here, and, and it's cool looking, but I think we need to, like, make it longer, because I'll, I'll probably put a window there. Well, this would be perfect, actually. Hmm, do we want to make it longer? Yeah, I think we do. I think this needs to be, like, too longer in the middle, because this would be... Well, <laughs> I'm so torn. Do we make this house bigger than this? Uh, maybe not. Maybe, maybe we keep it at the size, because, like, yeah, I don't want to make it too big. Um... <laughs> Never mind everything that I said about making it longer. We'll, we'll save it like this. Now, the fences here, those can probably go away. I did go ahead and take some time in between episodes and make all the fences match. So, yay me, but also this has to go, so... Uh, I guess not, yay me. Couch bench will move too. Uh, that cannot stay there, but now we sleep in it. It's definitely a little late. 
And this thing, hmm. So this is a modern fancy thing, and I think it should wrap all the way around this house, and then we could do like all logs down here and make things crazy fancy, and then on this upper section, like, like up here, we could do probably like spruce wood. I think that could look really cool. Oh, uh, we're in a cloud. Uh, one, two, three, four. Maybe four is good, and then we'll go across. So we'll have like a short house, kind of. Like some of the parts will be short. Uh, this will be one story over there, and then over here, two stories. We'll have like the lower area down there, and then the upper area up here, I think. And then the nice thing about modern builds is the roof is eat. I can't even see it. Ah, uh, here we go. Uh, the roof is really, really easy to do because it is probably literally a flat thing. Uh, call me lazy, but uh, I mean, look up a modern house if you've never seen one. They're flat, so I am very happy today about not having to, to struggle. I always struggle, like, a lot with roofs, and it's usually bad. Now, modern houses also have, like, a lot of windows, so that's what we're going to do, too. We'll definitely have to go find glass, though, so we'll have a little bit of an adventure on our hands today, but, uh, yeah, lots of windows in here. But, with that being said, maybe we do, like, a solid wall back here, because then we could do, like, paintings and cool things there, so that'll look nice, I think. That goes down. Uh, this has to go all the way around. I just almost jumped off the ledge. I need to be careful. <laughs> And then this all gets filled in too. I think we'll do solid walls on this portion of the build. There's not much of a view over here anyways. Like, I mean, there's this cool mountain and the waterfall that we killed, but like nothing else really over there. So no window over here. We don't need that. Uh, this is the view side. And uh, with that, I think I, uh, oh no, I have another stack. Okay, good. Um, never mind. I thought I was done with wood. Okay, so here's this part. Um, it can go, I think, straight across, probably. Yes, yes, definitely. And then this wall links straight up, pretty straightforward and easy. That should fill all the way in. Uh, but I'm looking at things here, and that's going to be really short. So what we're going to go ahead and do is make it one higher. So our windows and our, and our wall just kind of gets a little fancier. I think that will help this side of the build. I don't want it to be so close in, in height to that, that one. I want this to be a little taller, so one block higher. Look at my health. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, I am going to end up dying by jumping off of things, probably. Uh, please regen. It scares me every time my health stops refilling. I think I've messed something up, and then the game is going to be over. Uh, I can't do that so soon. No, we just built our house. All right, so a little bit of time has passed and I did a tiny bit of work. So I terraformed this side of the mountain, so that looks a little bit better. Now I just need the snow to come. I, I did a little bit more work up here too. And then on the inside, I finished the walls. I haven't done any of the roofs yet though, but again, those are gonna be flat, so that'll be really, really easy to do. Uh, but we're kind of at the point in the build where I need to to get windows and glass. So we're gonna go ahead and break the bed, bring the bed with us, and hopefully go find a lot of sand somewhere close. Where'd the other sign go? Did it literally just disappear? Um... <laughs> Uh, okay, anyways, so as you guys probably realized, I ran out of dirt and had to go get more dirt from a place. That place is actually right over here, around the mountain. While I was over here digging up dirt, I realized that pumpkin, well, I already know about that one, <laughs> but I also realized that there's a lot of sand in this river here, and usually I'm all about, like, not ruining the environment that you're living around, because then it kind of looks ugly, but there's no way that we could ever see this spot from Mount Waddle unless I literally blew up that mountain, and not saying we're not gonna do that, but I'm not planning on doing that right now, so I think we can just go ahead and dig up the sand from here. Uh, we probably need, like, honestly, two stacks of sand for this, because, um, we need a lot of panes, and we need, I think, some glass blocks, too. I'd like to do some skylights on the house, because that would look really cool and definitely feel super modern. Also, if we do skylights on the, like, in the ceiling, then we don't have to worry about the spawns where I put the skylights, because, um, mobs can't spawn on glass, which is really really nice i definitely need to make sure the house is spawn proof on the outside because if i walk out of the front door and a creeper falls down and blows me up and that's how the series ends uh i'm gonna be a little bummed 
uh, a little frustrated, so <laughs> gotta definitely make sure it's safe. Uh, I think that I'm also gonna go ahead and deforest a little bit in this forest. Sorry, um, but I, it needs to be done. I need more wood, and the oak trees just planting one over and over again, it's not really... That's not working very well, so <laughs> it'll be probably a little faster to just cut some of these trees down. I also keep making crafting tables and leaving them like everywhere, so yeah, mm -hmm. I'm using stone shovels because I don't want to use my iron up on something like this. Um, yeah. You know, honestly, I, I don't know what it is about the early game like resource gathering part, but I... It, this might be one of my favorite parts of the game like seriously it's so fun and I, I don't know it's cool to like explore the world for the first time and, and hope that you have good things near you it's so nice I if I could restart my survival world like every month I would probably do that so the next big part of the build is actually doing the inside and pretty much finishing everything off for today. So we have three separate floors to worry about. We have this area, which I think would look really good with birch wood because it's kind of modern looking, right? Uh, then we have this lower area that I think I'll do with probably... Uh, oh no, not that guy. No, no, no. Oh boy, where is he? Where'd he spawn? Where where are you, Mr. Trader? Oh, there you are. You're on my house. You're literally on my house. What do you have for sale today, sir? Uh, let me look. Uh, it looks like nothing good, which means um, that we need to remove the trader from this area because the trader is in my way, clean in my way. You've got to go, sir. So what I think we could do is we can push you this way. The llamas can stay. The llamas are good. The trader, trader is not good. I think we could go ahead and push this trader right here, clean off of the ledge of the cliff, and we will solve all of. Hey, 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 hey! Don't, don't, no. Um, okay, you're gonna walk away. No, oh man, you had to make it difficult. You had to do that, didn't you? You are gonna go ahead and I. You see, I want to do it this way. Okay, you know what? Uh, this is what we're gonna do. <laughs> I wanted to do it this way because I didn't want to aggro the llamas. I didn't really want to do that and involve... I really didn't want to involve the llamas in this drama here, the beef that the villager and I have, but unfortunately, I think they've been involved. Are they angry? Do you guys care about me? No, you, you don't care, I think. Yeah, you don't care. Okay, cool. <laughs> you guys are our llama friend now. Um, sorry, didn't mean to do that. I just wanted the other lead, but I guess, nope, that's a no-go. Oh boy, they are not that smart. Um, ah, just don't look. Anyways, we'll do an oak floor in here because that'll look good. And then maybe, honestly, like a stone floor up there. I made smooth stone, like normal stone, this stuff, so I could make a stone cutter uh, because stone cutters are great. But yeah, we can't do wood up here. That would be like a lot of planks, you see. So maybe we end up doing stone up there for the floor. And then, of course, lots of like skylights and windows and everything like that. I have the glass cooking up in the furnace over here. The glass color that we'll be using is definitely going to be black stained glass. That's my favorite color of glass. But I think that's everything, mostly. By the way, on the roof, I'm gonna do this. Uh, we'll we'll kind of like pop things up and I'll go on the outside and do this too with the slabs so we don't have spawns. And then wherever I am um, not doing the slabs, we'll just do glass like in the middle, like a small area probably. I think that'll be cool. I'm thinking we'll have like a back door right here and then we'll do like a berry farm outside. Hey, there's the other lead. I will ruin that for the lead. Yes, thank you. Uh, but this will be our garden and then I have the fences, so everything's safe. So yep, that's what I'm thinking with that. You fool, you fool, you're burning yourself. Get off of that. No, 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 no. We're meant to be friends. No, don't. I know you're sad about the wandering trader, but he was never, not, he never cared. No. The trader never cared about you, poor llama. Oh. <laughs> uh, um. Um. Wow. That's rough. Ah, uh, you know, um, just ever since the happening earlier, I've just not felt the same. It's it's really a sad day when you when you have to bury your sweet llama friend that was so new. We we barely knew each other too, which makes it all the worse. Ah, uh, but there we go, sweet llama friend, llama number one, as you will be known. You will you you are gone, but you will not be forgotten. I really hope this is a nice proper burial for such a sweet sweet friend. 
Ah, uh, man, I, I really miss the llama. But uh, anyways, you want to see the most illegal thing I own? This is the most illegal thing I own right here. The clouds have been raised, all of them around our world, so they will no longer cut through my house. That was the hardest part about building the build, but it's done. I think it's done. It, it looks cool. <laughs> I think it, it definitely needs some mossy cobblestone, but vines are a thing that we just don't have right now. So, house tour. Here's the garage door, but uh, don't open it. It doesn't work. <laughs> uh, then we go up here, and this is the porch. Very nice, and our sweet friend is always right next to us. So then this is the porch. Nice view of the whole place. Cool village over there that we have to check out. Then we go ahead and walk in the front door. Crazy contraption here to close the door just like that. Then we have the living room, which is currently unfinished. So the inside doesn't have any details yet. I will do the detailing later, uh, but we do have a flower pot in here to make it a little more homey. And then a fireplace, which it, it's not the best, but it works for now. I did it with trap doors and then two fireplaces, you know, so we can cook things on that. So that's cool. That's useful then over here we have the garage which will actually probably be the storage room and like the kitchen where i put some furnaces and stuff uh, a little bit of extra room here which is really cool then uh last but not least over here we have the upstairs which is going to be my bedroom i went ahead and put some tall tall windows in here that i think look really nice and then we have actually a roof access over here i started doing stuff to block the spawns but i didn't do it along the cobblestone i need to come back with more stone and put buttons there to stop spawns from happening on that part but as a whole, I think the house is pretty good. Now, I forgot, whoops, I uh, will just do this. <laughs> I forgot to show you the backyard. The backyard is the berry farm for now. It's not very big and I can kind of step on the berries, which I don't really like. So this might all change. Kind of difficult to get berries that land back there too. So yeah, that's definitely going to have to change. But for now, it's, it's a start. It's not bad, I think. And that is also probably where we end today's episode or is it uh it, yeah it's actually not we have one more thing that we have to do because it's a very important early game we need better food and i have to make a new farm so um uh, <laughs> i still kind of don't know how i really want to do this i want it to look good uh we don't have a lot of room over here though to really work with we're kind of occupied on stuff here so maybe we go Mmm. Hmm. <laughs> I'm still stumped. Um, uh, you know what? Maybe we maybe we change this land right here a little bit and put our farm over here so we can kind of do that whole raised garden thing again that we were doing at the end of the last episode but different this time and this time it should stay for at least one episode uh no promises <laughs> farther than that but at least one episode so we need water then we need to waterlog this so the water doesn't go away then this gets all tilled in here and yeah hopefully this actually lasts a little bit longer it may be I can get at least one harvest out of it um, instead of <laughs> instead of zero again this time whoops didn't plan on that happening that's my bad uh, we'll go ahead and turn I think all of that into farmland for now and then when we need more uh, we'll maybe make a building because we're up on this hill or, or this mountain and I feel like if we're going to make like a farm we should either put it uh, like inside or like like in a basement which is still inside <laughs> so yeah inside is probably where it belongs uh, the most but let's go ahead and hmm you know what let's do this we'll make this fancy Oh boy, I bet you've never seen a fancier farming thing. <laughs> uh, I went ahead and did fences in, in, on the wall to make it like a retaining wall. I think that's cool looking. And that is actually where we are ending for today's episode of Hardcore Survival. So I think maybe that we'll target that village in the next episode. But stay tuned for more because I don't know if that's what we'll actually do. If you liked today's video, let me know by dropping a like on this video. If you can't wait for the episodes to come out, consider becoming a patron, because patrons get the episodes early. They also get Minecraft Guide episodes early too, so if you like both series, then boom, double the reason. Today, I'd like to send a special thank you to my patron, Guy on Moose. Thank you very much for the support. You are epic for that. In the description, you gamers can find my Twitch, my Instagram, my Twitter, and everything like that. And then down below the video on the merch bench is the Fresh Elite Tier Waddles merch. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye, everybody.